September 20 of 1999. 20 years ago, the Sega Dreamcast was brought to Brazil by Tectoy. The following list is a top 20 of Dreamcast games released in Brazil, in alphabetical order. Known as Deadly Skies in Europe, Air Force Delta was developed and published by Konami and released to the Dreamcast in 1999 to Japan and North America, and in 2000 to the rest of the world, including Brazil. It is an air combat simulator with cockpit view that resembles a lot Top Gun for NES, except you don't have to make a nearly impossible landing at an aircraft carrier. It also has that realistic feeling of flying above cities. The one thing that let me down was this annoying fog on the horizon to disguise the poor draw distance. Come on, Dreamcast, don't Nintendo 64 me. Crazy Taxi Developed by Hitmaker and published by SEGA, it was released first in 1999 to the SEGA Naomi Arcade System, then ported to the Dreamcast in 2000. The gameplay of Crazy Taxi made it unique for its time. In-game you are a taxi driver whose objective is picking up and delivering passengers within the time limit. There are no tracks, it's an open world game where you follow the path you choose. You also earn points by making crazy stunts with your car. You have to be really good to achieve the highest rank by delivering the most number possible of passengers. I play this game a lot in gaming houses. For who doesn't know, the gaming house, known in my country as locador or videogame, is the predecessor of the LAN house. Instead of computers, it had consoles that you could rent and play any game for up to one hour. They still exist in my country. Crazy Taxi 2 Also developed by Hitmaker and published by SEGA in 2001, Crazy Taxi 2 is a Dreamcast original game, not having been released or ported to the arcade. This sequel has the innovation of allowing the player to pick up more than one passenger at the same time, increasing the difficulty. Also, it has four new characters in addition to the four original characters, and two new cities in addition to the two original cities. It's not a bad game, but in my opinion, it's inferior to the original game. The Lightning couldn't be bottled twice. Daytona USA Developed and published by SEGA, it was released first to the SEGA Model 2 arcade system in 1993, imported to the SEGA Saturn in 1995, and to the PC in 1996. A graphically enhanced port of the game was made to the Dreamcast in 2001. It's a stock car racing game where you run against the clock to complete the race before the time runs out. Good luck accomplishing the objective, this game has a long learning curve. Yes, I made that infamous pun. The Dreamcast port has 8 tracks, 5 from the original game and the Saturn exclusive Championship Circuit Edition, and 3 new tracks made for the Dreamcast. Dead or Alive 2 Developed by Team Ninja and published by Tecmo in Japan and Acclaim in Europe, it was released first to the Sega Naomi Arcade System in 1999, then ported to the Dreamcast in 2000. It's a 3D fighting game that features a balanced combat mechanics, a realistic physics with natural body movements, and a roster with the most beautiful female fighters in the genre. This game also is in the same universe of Ninja Gaiden, featuring Ryu Hayabusa as a playable character. My favorite characters in the game are the Shinobi sisters Kasumi and Ayane. Jet Grind Radio Known as Jet Set Radio in Japan and Europe, it was developed by Smile Beach and published by SEGA to the Dreamcast in 2000. It's an open world action game where you play as a member of a gang who skates on the city of Tokyo, spraying graffiti and evading the authorities. 
Think of Grand Theft Auto, but without robbery or murder, and with extreme acrobacies on roller skates, and you have Jet Grind Radio. Jet Grind Raid was the first video game to use cell shaded visuals, giving it a cartoon like appearance. Games like this one and Crazy Taxi are a product of the good times when Sega used to think out of the box and make astonishing games. Legacy of Kang Soul River Developed by Crystal Dynamics and published by Eidos Interactive, this game was released to PC and PlayStation in 1999 and ported to Dreamcast by Nixit Software BV in 2000. It's a 3D platform hack and slash action adventure where you play as the ghost vampire Raziel, who can shift between the physical and spiritual planes of the existence. Raziel is on a quest of revenge against his master Kane, who killed him, and is the bearer of the supernatural sword Soul River. Having been designed by the same studio behind Tomb Raider, this game resembles a lot the latter with its 3D environment and movementation, camera rotation and puzzle mechanics. But it has the differential of its gameplay relying on shifting between the physical and spiritual planes. Mortal Kombat Gold Developed by Eurocon and published by Midway, this title was released exclusively to Dreamcast in 1999 and is an updated version of Mortal Kombat 4, the first 3D fighting game of the Mortal Kombat franchise. The gameplay is similar to the previous titles, with the differential of having a weapon system with each character having a special weapon. Also, the multiple finishing moves of the previous titles have been removed. Each character has only two fatalities. The game also features 3D arenas and movementation, as opposed to the 2D titles where you could move only forward and backward. Mortal Kombat Gold also has 6 additional characters that don't appear in any version of Mortal Kombat 4. Kitana, Malina, Kung Lao, Baraka, Sarax and Sector. NBA 2K Developed by Visual Concepts and published by Sega Sports, this game was released to Dreamcast in 1999 in North America and 2000 in Europe in Japan. It's a basketball game and the first of three NBA 2K games released to Dreamcast before its discontinuation in 2002. The series is based on the National Basketball Association of America and allows the user to play the current season's NBA teams and players. The game features the current place of the 1999-2000 season of NBA. The users also can create their own customizable players and compile their own teams. NBA 2K was praised by critics for setting the standard to modern basketball games. Fantasy Star Online Developed by Sonic Team and published by SEGA, this game was produced by Yuji Naka and had two versions released to Dreamcast. The version 1 was released in 2000 in Japan and 2001 in North America and Europe. The version 2, updated with new content and improved features, was released in 2001 in Japan and North America and 2002 in Europe. Fantasy Star Online was the first MMORPG for a console, and it was considered a landmark game that cemented the path to online game as we know today. The player can create a customizable character and play offline in the single player mode or online with up to three other team members. Hi. My name is Cortina and I am Elder's AI assistant. I'm taking over from this point. Let's continue with Quake 3 Arena. Developed by ID Software, this game was published by Activision in 1999 for PC and was ported by Raster Productions and published by Sega in 2000 for the Dreamcast. It's a multiplayer focused first person shooter. Unlike the previous games, this one doesn't have a story mode. It's purely a deathmatch game both in single player and multiplayer. It also has 33 playable characters including the Marine from the Doom series, 
Bitterman and Grunt from Quake 2, and Ranger from Quake. Also from the Doom series it has the overpowered BFG weapon. It has four gameplay modes, free for all, team deathmatch, 1 vs 1 deathmatch, and capture the flag. The Dreamcast version featured an up to four players online deathmatch vs Dreamcast and PC gamers. It is considered one of the best PC to console ports of its time due to its smooth frame rate and online play. Resident Evil Code Veronica Developed and published by Capcom, this game was released to the Dreamcast in 2000. It's a survival horror game and the first of the Resident Evil series to debut on a platform that was not of the PlayStation family. It was also the first title in the series to abandon the pre-rendered backgrounds and use real-time 3D environments. The Dreamcast version came in two discs. In the disc one you play as Claire Redfield and briefly as Steve Burnside. In the disc two you play as Claire Redfield and as Chris Redfield. The gameplay is the same of the previous games where you fight zombies and other monsters and solve puzzles to progress through the game. Code Veronica is a spin-off game whose story is situated between Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. It follows the siblings Claire and Chris Redfield against another zombie outbreak and the siblings Alfred and Alexia Ashford, who plan to release the T. Veronica virus around the world. Sega Rally 2 Developed by Sega AM5 and published by Sega, this game was released first to the Sega Model 3 arcade system in 1998 then ported to Dreamcast and PC in 1999. The Dreamcast version was ported by Smilebit, the same company that developed Jet Grind Radio. It's a rally racing game whose objective is to reach checkpoints and be rewarded with more time to reach the finish line. The player has the ability to drive on different surfaces, with different friction properties, with the car's handling changing accordingly, like snowy tracks for example. It also features real rally cars like the Toyota Celica GT4 ST205. The Lancia Delta HF Integral and Lancia Stratos HF, as well as cars from Mitsubishi, Subaru, Fiat, Peugeot, Renault, and Ford. The last brand is available only in the Japanese copies of the Dreamcast game and in the arcade game and PC game. Shenmue Developed by Sega AM2 and published by Sega, it was released to Dreamcast in 1999 in Japan and 2000 in North America and Europe. It's a groundbreaking open-world game that combines several genres like action, adventure, role-playing, life simulation and social simulation. It features interactive objects, a day and night system, beat-em-up combat, quick-time events, non-playable characters with daily schedules and various mini-games. Produced by Yu Suzuki, the game follows the young Japanese martial artist Ryo Hashiki in his quest to avenge the assassination of his father by a Chinese man named Lan Di. The game ends in a cliffhanger with Ryo traveling to Hong Kong. Shenmue was planned as a series of four games. Unfortunately, the first two games undersold and the third game was outright cancelled by Sega. Suzuki launched a Kickstarter campaign to crowdfund Shenmue 3, with Sega having licensed Shenmue to Suzuki's company YSNet. Shenmue is praised as an epic game, and is flawless, except for its English voice acting and its unskippable cut scenes. Sonic Adventure Developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega, this game was released to Dreamcast in 1999. It's a 3D platform adventure game and the third 3D Sonic game made by Sega after Sonic R for the Sega Saturn and Sonic the Fighters for Arcade. 
The player controls six playable characters unlocked as you progress, each one with its own story and campaign. The starting character is Sonic the Hedgehog. The unlockable characters are Miles Tails Prower, Knuckles the Echidna, Amy Rose, Big the Cat and the Robot E102 Gamma. A seventh character, Super Sonic, is unlocked after you complete the campaigns of the other six characters. Contrary to the popular belief, Sonic Adventure is not bad at all. It has a long learning curve, but other than that it's a pretty good Sonic game. The House of the Dead 2 Developed by WoW Entertainment and published by Sega, this game was released first to the Sega Naomi Arcade system in 1998 then ported to the Dreamcast in 1999. It's a first-person light gun shooting game where you play as an agent of a secret organization named AMS and battle fast-moving zombies and other monsters. Think of Resident Evil as a first-person shooter with fast zombies coming in your face and you have the House of the Dead franchise in a nutshell. While the arcade version uses a light gun, in the Dreamcast version you can play using either the Dreamcast light gun or the joystick, though with the joystick the crosshair moves slower. The King of Fighters Dream Match 1999 Developed and published by SNK, this game was released to the Dreamcast in 1999. It's the Dreamcast version of the King of Fighters 98, which featured stages remade in 3D. It's a team battle fighting game that does not use the traditional round system. Instead, you choose three characters from a vast roster to fight in turns. The battle lasts until the last character in a team is defeated. The game mixes original characters with others from different SNK franchises like Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, Akari Warriors, and Psycho Soldiers. It's starred by the rivals Kyokusanagi and Iori Yagami. Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation Developed by Core Design and published by IDOS Interactive, this game was released to Dreamcast in 2000. It is the fourth installment in the Tomb Raider franchise and the first of the two Tomb Raider games released to Dreamcast. The Dreamcast version had exclusive graphical and sound enhancements compared to the PlayStation and PC versions. The gameplay is basically the same of the previous games in the franchise, a third-person puzzle adventure game where you play as the archaeologist and adventurer Lara Croft. The plot is convoluted and ends with the presumed death of Lara. Despite this, Two other games that feature the return of Lara were produced before the first reboot of the series. Unreal Tournament Developed by Epic Games and Digital Extremes, this game was released first to PC in 1999 then ported by Infograms to the Dreamcast in 2001. It is the sequel to the 1998 PC and Mac game Unreal. It's basically a clone of Quake 3 Arena, an arena first-person shooter focused on multiplayer where you fight either against other player or against bots in 4-8 to eight player battles. It has a convoluted story about death matches being legal in the year 2291 and arena fights being the most popular sport by 2341. Typical dystopian future crap. Fun fact, the Unreal Game Engine is named after the Unreal Game. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Vigilante 8 Second Defense Developed by Luxoflox and published by Activision, this game was released to Dreamcast in 1999 in North America and 2000 in Europe. Contrary to what you may be thinking, this game has nothing to do with Vigilante for Master System, nor is it the eighth game in a series. Actually, the title Vigilante 8 refers to the eight playable characters in the original game. 
It's a vehicle combat game and the sequel to Vigilante 8. You control a vehicle and have the objective of eliminating all enemies in the arena. It has 12 playable characters, 4 new and 8 from the original game. Each character has its own story mode and ending. Activision was actually planning to call this game Vigilante 12. 